Leadership, a very underrated quality when it comes to football, in my opinion, because I was somebody that underrated it myself, unfortunately. And that was because of Ray Lewis. Got so spoiled watching Ray Lewis year after year after year after year after year. And I felt like leadership was just something that was just there. It was like an automatic. But then when Ray Lewis left and the team just seemed lost, I was like, oh, this is what people would always talk about with him being such a great leader for the Baltimore Ravens. But Ray Lewis uh, is long gone. He's been retired for 10 years now. Because, well, ten, well, nine seasons, but 10 years because he retired uh, after they won the Super Bowl in 2013. And it's now 2023. So, yeah, man. But anyway, uh, it'd be nice to have a little. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, but anyway, uh, there's a new leader in town when it comes to this Baltimore Ravens defense. Who is that? Might I add? Might you ask? I don't know. Well, let's get into this first question to find out. It came from my guy, BB. He said, Engraven, who will wear the green dot on defense this year? Roquan, Kyle Hamilton, Patrick Queen, your thoughts. And hashtag team keep it clean and hashtag Ravens are evolving like that. Um, well, it has been said. That was a good question, uh, especially last year. Uh, when we were thinking, all right, well, Chuck Clark, he ain't going to have it on forever. Uh, and then we were like, no, nah, they, they ain't no way they're going to give it to no rookie Kyle Hamilton. Marcus Williams, he was a thought for a little bit uh, that him as a free safety, somebody that can has the whole field in front of them, was thinking, okay, he could maybe get it. But then uh, when they traded for Roquan Smith, they had to throw his name into the mix too because it's like Roquan Smith, the nucleus of the defense he's literally right the little middle linebacker he's in the middle of the defense so he's somebody that a lot of people considered and expected to get that green dot as well uh you listed patrick queen on here um patrick queen i i, I didn't see it for him especially too because he there's a lot of time raven will take him off the field um so yeah patrick queen i, I don't think that it would be him uh especially with the uncertainty uh, with his situation right now because they declined his fifth-year option. So there's not necessarily that future uh, with Patrick. As of right now, it's not a locked-in future with the Baltimore Ravens and Patrick Queen. So we'll see how things shake out with that whole situation. But anyway, somebody who they did lock it in with to a five-year, what, $100 million deal was Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith, they traded for him from the Chicago Bears in the middle of last season, and he made an instant impact. He certainly did. Uh, he had a lot of highs. He did have some lows, too, but uh, he, he was a really good player for the Baltimore Ravens, and he let his presence be known right away, both on and off the field. And he showed those leadership qualities. He talked about those leadership qualities, and he displayed those leadership qualities. And something about being a leader, uh, yeah, you could talk to talk. Talk to talk of a great leader, but it's about that action too. And the Ravens this year are going to be giving him that action because Roquan Smith is going to be the one wearing the green dot to answer your question. Uh, and it makes sense. It makes sense. That is uh, your leader on defense, or one of your leaders on defense. And it's nice that they have multiple um, because you would say Roquan Smith. I think even Marlon Humphrey sort of really stepping into that role a bit and him realizing like, hey, wait a minute, I'm I'm a veteran here. I'm a veteran. I'm one of the, the older guys. I'm one of the longest tenured guys here. So, and I know it's kind of weird, but yeah, that's that's what it is. And it's nice that Marlon Humphrey, being one of the longest tenured Ravens on defense, um, and he's still young. He's still very, very, very young. Uh, so it's things have been looking up, which is a great thing. So, um, but with Roquan wearing the green dot, he's a communicator. He's the one that everybody gonna look at. We we know that that's been Chuck Clark's job for the past couple of years. And then, and then I remember in the uh, in Chuck Clark's COVID game where he was out with COVID. Um, I believe Geno Stone he ended up wearing a green dot in that game, and it went good. It went smooth. So it wasn't one of them things where like, oh my goodness, Chuck Clark he he's not gonna have a green dot. Who's gonna have it? Are we gonna be able to operate as a defense? No, they they got it. They took care of business. And with with, with the green dot. I know it's always fun to talk about the green dot, but um, Roquan Smith, with him being a leader, it's just important that him and his, I guess, 
he'll be coming up on his first full year in the defense uh, in the middle of this year, but in his second year with this defense, uh, the understanding should be on a much more higher level. It should be a lot better and a lot more um, just in depth with how he understands the defense, how he understands everybody else's job besides his, how he understands how things work and how he understands how they operate. How he calls the shots, how he gets his guys lined up right, how he gets his guys in position because he is that leader, man. We remember um, Eric Weddle. Oh, man. Eric Weddle was just amazing at that. And, and, and thinking about it now it just makes me really smile because Eric Weddle, this guy was, um, it was rough. It was rough with Eric Weddle because he was so smart. This guy was such a smart player he knew his stuff he was on it but his body just couldn't keep up with his mind his mind was all there but his body was just getting old and whatnot so he couldn't always make the plays and whatnot but Eric Weddle we remember at before every snap on defense this guy running around getting guys lined up communicating hey you need to be here you need to be there you need to be there just man and they, that defense was nice obviously um, so shout out to Eric Weddle, and, and I, I wish we could have seen him have more of his uh his post game ice cream because obviously they they always, they only came after victory. But um, so yeah, Roquan Smith, that's his job now. That that is his job. That's what he's gonna be doing. Um, and I mean he was already elite even without the green dot, but now with the green dot, he just gets another uh, added responsibility um onto his shoulder. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh just this this Ravens team, this defense. Looking forward to seeing how they operate. Now Roquan Smith will have had an offseason with Patrick Queen. And Patrick Queen will have had an offseason with Roquan Smith. It goes both ways. So I am, um, I'm excited to see that. And I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that they kept Patrick Queen. Because I really, I just knew that they were going to trade him away. I just knew they were going to trade Patrick Queen. But I'm glad that they didn't because I want to keep everybody. I want them to keep everybody. Because I'm like, the more the merrier, the, the depth, the quality of it. It's just amazing. And it's a beautiful thing. So... We're going to see what happens with Patrick Queen beyond this year, but for right here, right now, I'm excited to see these boys together for a full year. Just building off of each other, feeding off of each other. That confidence, man, it's it just, it could be a, a beautiful thing. So we'll see how it all works itself out. Uh, my guy BB's other question, he said, with the new contract Lamar has been given, will he now have a shoe deal from a major company like Adidas or Nike, or will he keep it with Air 8 Apparel? Your thoughts? That's a great question, and we really have no clue. L Lamar is somebody who um he keeps his stuff right here. Whatever he gonna do, we don't know about it until he does it. Uh, so with Lamar, as far as a shoe deal, no clue. If he wants to shoot, I'm sure the shoe deals out there sitting there, sitting there waiting for him if he want him. But I, I don't know what the status of it is. Uh, but he's somebody that is obviously very marketable. Uh, he's very relatable, um, and companies love that. They love that, and I mean, it sounds kind of harsh, but they they love that because um, these companies they they gonna use you for whatever product they placing. But it's important that you, as the person, you use them, you get that bread. So hey, it it, it goes both ways, and and it's it's all business anyway. So um, with Lamar, yeah, the the sky's the limit. He got his contract. He got that bread. He, and he got Oakley. He got the the Oculus, the the new era game. I got. I ain't played it in a while. I got to actually update my Oculus. But um, yeah. So he got like he got some, and I'm sure it's other. He got the restaurant. Obviously, man, we went to the restaurant the other day, and man, I um, we, it was just a a day because I, I have been doing really good with eating and stuff, and been taking some walks and stuff. And been doing been doing good with that. But that day, um, we all went to the mall. We went to Aventura. Uh, we ate at the, the the Jamaican place there. We had Chipotle there, and, and then that night, same night, we end up going to Lamar Jackson restaurant. And I got the, the I got the turkey wing dinner with yellow rice, collard greens, and um, what else did I have as a side? I f I forgot, but it was so good. That, that that's my favorite meal there. The tur the turkey wing dinner. So anytime y'all come down here, go to Lamar Jackson restaurant, get the turkey wing dinner. I had also got the fried ribs. With um, where rice and peas and red beans and rice, it was just so good, man. Like they like look, and and I, I ain't, I ain't gonna tell y'all, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna put you on to nothing that, that 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 ain't good and that I really don't think it's like actually great food because it is. It really is. If it wasn't all that, if it wasn't good, 
<laughs> you wouldn't hear about it from me. <laughs> you would not hear about it at all from me, but yeah, I love it so much. It's so good. I that like the the and the reason my the, the turkey wings are my favorite. Um is because they like literally they fall off the bone. They are flavored so well. They um the gravy is great, it goes perfect with the yellow rice. It's just so good. I, 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 that makes me want to pick it up today, but I ain't, I ain't going to today. But um, yeah, that restaurant has gotten a lot of money from me. Um, but it is like I said, it's it's, it's great. It's boy, it's, it's on point, man. So y'all y'all check it out. I know this, this video kind of took a turn, turned to a little restaurant review video, but please, if you get a chance, please do it. Yeah, this feels like a dream.